Kevin here. Ollie here. And today is Thursday, which mm. is time for our faith video. Yes. Um, and today we're kind of mixing it up a little bit because you can't really have failed to notice over the last couple of weeks, um, there has been, well, months really, there has been a lot in the news about the coronavirus, COVID-19. Yeah. And it is a, it's a really scary time. Mm. Uh, there is absolutely no doubting that this is a really genuinely scary time for our nation. Mm. And we just want to take a moment to actually acknowledge that and kind of speak into some of that fear. Yeah. Um, so even today, Stephen, like when this comes out, uh, yeah. we, we filmed this last week, and yeah. uh, we just found out today that all the football matches are cancelled. Yeah. Uh, school isn't cancelled yet, no. but it could be when this video comes out. Yeah, and so but actually last night Boris Johnson did say that they were going to recommend to all schools that their international trips are cancelled. Yeah. And so for some of you who've been looking forward to going to France or Germany or Spain on your uh, exchange programmes, that's going to be really gutting for you, isn't it? Mm. Um, you know, and I can imagine some of you are feeling upset and disappointed by that but more than that some of you may well actually be watching this and you're sat at home thinking the foreign exchange is a one thing but this seems to be affecting older people more than anyone and I'm worried about my grandma or my granddad and we want to really speak into that with some seriousness because it wouldn't be right of us to say that this fear is is not a, a real thing is not a you know this isn't a, a virus or anything that we need to take notice of because it is it absolutely is and we want to sort of encourage you with some verses from the bible and then i reckon we should take a bit of time to pray and actually actively uh, actively pray um together uh, for you and with you and i'd hope at home you would join us in that um so ollie you had a bible verse to yeah read so uh, in philippians 4 verse 6 Got that right. Uh, it says, "Do not be anxious about anything, but by prayer and petition present." No, I've got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, said to Stephen, "I, I know this off." I wanted to know that I suggested we had <laughs> that verse in front of us, <laughs> and it, Ollie I said, "I know it off by heart." And I said, "Okay, Ollie, if you know it off by heart, uh, you recite it off." By I was heart. pretty much right. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Oh, okay. So that verse that we have just read out to you really speaks about how we can present our requests before God and know that he will answer us, know that he will love us and care for us and that we are not alone in this. Because mm. God is our provider, he is our defender um, and God loves us. And while fear is absolutely a very real thing, um, Ollie, you read out a quote to me as we were preparing to film this, mm. um, all about all about fear and how um, courage. And it says, courage is not the absence of fear. Yeah, it is the ability to act, act in, despite, despite the, act, act despite the fear. Yeah. Um, and so, for some of you, there are some really practical things that you can do. It may well be that we need to trust our government at this stage, and for some, that may be difficult. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. For some people that will be difficult to, to trust the government in a time when faith in politics has been eroded. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but we need to sort of step up and say, actually, if, if, if the government is saying, everybody stay home, you know, everybody self-isolate, you know, we've just seen today they cancel all the football until the 3rd of April. Mm. Um, you know, if the government is saying that, we should, we should follow their advice and we should act and act responsibly and act as quickly as we can. Uh, but for those of you who know that if they have a relative with <clears throat> underlying health concerns, you know, it is a really scary time. And so we want to pray right now that you would know the love of God. Um, and Ollie, would you like to lead us in prayer? Yeah, we'd love to. Yeah. Uh, Father God, we just, uh, I guess we want to pray a big prayer that you would just stop this coronavirus. Uh, Lord, we, we ask that you would stop the spreading, uh, that it will be uh, be able to be contained. And Father, we pray for all the young people who maybe are worrying, worrying about uh, for their um, maybe elderly grandparents that they have or for other uh, old people that they might know. And, and even for themselves, Father, we pray uh, against this fear. Uh, we pray, Lord, that um, if there is fear that young people wouldn't, um, wouldn't stop uh, acting, that they would 
uh, find courage to keep going. Uh, and then also, Father, we pray um, that young people will be maybe inspired to pray for others um, and to pray for family. Mm. So, Father, we, we ask for all these things in your heavenly name. Amen. 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 So that's really just a bit of a quick video, just to say that we are here and with you. Um, we are praying for you and hopefully with you. And if you if you've prayed that prayer today, maybe you don't even believe in, in God or you're not sure if he's there, but you've prayed that mm. on the off chance that he is. Uh, we'd really encourage you to message us. Um, if you want to know the love of God for yourself in this awful time, message us and we'll be happy to introduce you to him. Um, Ollie, is there anything else you want to say about fear? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think so. Short and simple. Well, Short and simple. Uh, well I, I could say something, Stephen. <laughs> no, that, that's perfectly okay, my friend. It's perfectly okay. Um, right, well, in that case, we will sign off the video here. We will. We will see you again next week. We will see well, you. we don't know if we will. Well, no. We hope that we will. We're, fi we're filming this on Friday the 13th of... Friday the 13th of March. <laughs> Um, for me, it's from Friday the 13th, so hopefully nothing unlucky happens to us. <laughs> uh, no, neither we don't believe in isolation. We don't believe, we don't believe, we don't believe that. that at all. <laughs> um, but hopefully we'll be able to film some videos for next week. Uh, but bear with us, because if one of us has to go into isolation, we won't be getting videos out for at least two Oh, weeks. we could do a live video from home. <laughs> what if we're actually ill, though? <laughs> yeah, we will. I'm not, I'm, I'm not working when I'm ill. <laughs> If, if, I'm, if I'm ill but I can still work, I will, but I'm not filming videos when I'm ill. Right, great. <laughs> awesome. Cool, all right, Well, take care, our guys. friends, we shall see you later. We shall indeed see you later. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no, it hasn't filmed. <laughs>